I think resilience is a really important thing. And I think it's something that you can learn how to do. Resilience isn't uh, some kind of commodity that you can buy off of a shelf. And resilience is, is all about our ability to face challenges and know that I can get through this and when I do get through this I'll be much stronger. The resilience is about being able to um, bend with the wind with the things that happen in your daily life but, but not to break with them. So to keep moving forward even when it's really really hard or you feel tired or you feel challenged, uh, resilience is what makes you able to move forward in those circumstances. Resilience isn't built overnight, resilience is something that's built over many 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 years. Um, no one is ever the most resilient person in the world, we've all got things to improve on in this area. Resilience is our capacity to adapt to changes and setbacks in our lives. So when we're under pressure, we might not be quite so resilient, but the really good news with resilience is it can be achieved by every single one of us, me, you, everybody. Some of us will have had really tough things to deal with, um, but it's easy to say these things make us stronger. And sometimes uh, having difficult times is what makes you understand and feel better through the good times. Having tests and trials is what really makes later on you able to cope with other things and to really appreciate people and those around you. Resilience, I think fundamentally from my experience, is a community. Resilience is about recognising that you can't take on the whole world by yourself and you shouldn't, especially if you want to bring about sustainable change that incorporates a diversity of different opinions and works for as many people as possible. Resilience is fundamentally about knowing when to take a step back and allow other people to step up. To give you an example of one of the biggest lessons that I have had in this respect in my lifetime, I think about when I got acute appendicitis uh, and I spent days and days working with this really sore stomach. I completely neglected it and actually ended up in hospital because I couldn't walk. They ended up doing, you know, two emergency surgeries. I was in hospital for seven days, couldn't eat for five days. It was really gnarly. And in that time, I was managing three different businesses and finishing off my law degree. And I remember freaking out, thinking that there were all of these emails that would be piling up while I was sat in hospital and while I wasn't there spinning the plates, then maybe everything would fall over. And then I got out of hospital and realised something spectacular that I've never forgotten to this day. And that is, nobody really noticed. I think we often put ourselves in the centre of the universe and that ends up with us pushing ourselves to the very brink and doing a lot of busy work which isn't absolutely necessary. It doesn't necessarily further the kaupapa, let alone lend itself to your well-being. So resilience, I think, is about recognising how you can best contribute but trying not to do it all by yourself. So I think in this day and age we have to be really resilient, the world's always changing, things are happening and you have to be resilient to all of these changes that can happen so quickly. I think being resilient within yourself, within your mind um, is really important. Understand what's really important in your life, I know for us it's our family, um, that's probably one of the biggest things that um, keeps us really strong and helps us be resilient. Being resilient doesn't mean that you have to be strong all the time. It's always okay to ask for help if you need to talk to people about how you're feeling. You'll be amazed at how much resilience that you actually naturally have yourselves. Just that comes from within. We also learn and we also develop lots of these skills with being around lots of people, talking to lots of people and connecting. If we look at how resilient we are even as a country, how we've all banded together in this last little while and we have been hugely resilient and a lot of that is because we've actually been sharing our day-to-day -day lives and our day-to-day -day experiences with each other. And if you do get knocked down, resilience is what helps you bounce back up after you've been knocked down. And it's a real skill and no one gets it right all of the time and sometimes it's really, really challenging to find that inner resilience. But as you work through what your passion is, 
Think about what makes you strong. That's what will give you the resilience to keep going under any circumstance you find yourself in. There are three keys to resilience for me. The first of them is lightening up, not taking myself too seriously. The next is really good self-care practices, making sure that I have the things that I need every day. And the third is the people that I have around me. So first of all, if we worry too much, if we get upset when things feel like they're not going our way, then we're not going to feel resilient and we are going to struggle when new challenges come along. But if we see those challenges as learning opportunities and we don't beat ourselves up when things don't go our way and we reframe the story to think about the positive opportunity that we're getting from learning, then we're going to feel way more resilient and able to carry on and achieve great things. The next thing is taking care of ourselves. We need to make sure that we have time in our day to look after ourselves, whatever that might look like. It might be doing fun things, it might be having a laugh, it might be spending time with friends. For me, I do meditation and I do yoga and that really gives me time in my day to make sure that I'm taking care of me and my resilience levels don't get too low. And the third, surrounding yourselves with good people. Sometimes you need a good talk when things aren't going your way. Make sure you know who those people are that you can talk to, that you can count on and that you can share your experiences with. Reach out when you need help but also take good care of yourself and be conscious of the stories that you're telling yourself and how you can change those stories and think positively so that you can feel resilient and that you can get up each day and feel ready to get on and do great things in life. Resilience is built on our attitudes and our behaviours to things because we always have a choice, a choice to adapt and change and be resilient through that change or to choose not to be part of that change and to reject it, behaviours to things because we always have a choice, a choice to adapt and change and be resilient through that change, or to choose not to be part of that change and to reject it. I think a really great example for all of us is the current COVID pandemic that New Zealand is facing. Um, we've all had to make changes as we moved from our life of pre-lockdown, work, home, school, into level four where we all needed to be at home and stay safe in our bubbles. For some, this shift to being at home each day has been really easy. For others, like me, really hard. I found it hard because I'm used to being out and about. I'm used to talking with people and I'm used to working with others in my community. And suddenly that all changed. And for me, I felt really sad. But during this period, what I have done is drawn on my own learnings around being resilient. I could have given up and lost hope, or I could use the skills. And the skills that I chose to use were to change my approach. Self-talk was what I used. Change is positive and it's about growth. It's about having freedom. So to support this, what I did, my tip for you, is when you're not feeling so resilient, share your plans and goals with your family. Talk to them, talk to your friends, talk to someone that you trust, because within this, you can use these tools to help you feel a little better. Things will be tough for us at times. Um, no one, I think, goes through life without having a challenging a challenging point but that just makes us more resilient so know that if it feels challenging um, coming out on the other side you'll be more resilient and have the tools to be able to cope with those kinds of situations in the future. For resilience to build I think it's really important to be able to know yourself and if you can know yourself and your emotions and how those emotions start you have a better chance to stop them before they get into a really bad situation. So if you're angry or you're sad or you're emotional or you're annoyed, before you move into that mode, if you can catch yourself and go, okay, let me try and do something good or let me think about something positive. Let me think about something that I'm really proud of. You can often kind of move some of that emotion to becoming a bit more positive. And one of the things that I do and that I think has helped me be resilient in my life is to think of all the things I can be grateful for because there's so much that we can all be grateful for. And if you're having a bad day, and we all have bad days, you can be having an absolute shocker. But you can just think of one or two things that you're grateful for whether it's watching a sunrise and appreciating the beauty in a sunrise, or whether it's appreciating the fact that you've got a home to live in and that parents will cook your meals, or just having wonderful friends. These are all really, really good things 
to be grateful for and will help you when you have tough times you're able to get up in the morning and go okay that was a pretty horrible day things didn't go my way but I'm very grateful for these other things so give it a go maybe think about one thing you're grateful for every day and I think it'll make you feel better too